<laughs> What's going down? Oh, I'll be there for sure. Hello, beautiful people. Um, I am getting ready to go to the gym. Oops, sorry, y'all. I'm getting ready to go to the gym to do my workout, but I want y'all to see how five miles every day has been doing for me. Now, granted, I didn't do it yesterday because I was sitting in a chair getting my hair braided, and I did this cute little bun action that feels cute and feels right. Um, I think I got a good deal. Like, I know I was kind of iffy about how I felt regarding um, regarding my braids and stuff and just the overall quality of my braids, but I feel like I got a good deal. But anyways, this is my body. I feel like I used to be more bloated here. Um, I will go back to when I, right before I was getting ready to go to my friend's party um, in May. So go back to like the second or third vlog and you'll see how I looked in this set. And I feel like I looked less, I looked way bloated right here. And granted, I need some better underwear, but for the most part, I don't feel very, let me see if I can show y'all what I see. I don't feel very bloated and I feel pretty good. Um, and it's just me walking, so I feel like that's a good thing. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Do y'all feel like I'm losing weight? Be nice. Um, anyways, I'm going to um, go to the treadmill, do my five miles. Not five miles. I do three miles because the rest of the miles I do is normal walking. So, <clears throat> so I do an hour on treadmill, listen to like a podcast or a vlog or something. And then by the end of the vlog, I'll usually be done. I'm going to see if I can do four miles today. So that way I can make up for lost time from yesterday. I did eat wings last night too. So it's kind of like, let me get back on my shit. <laughs> um, I'm not going to take the camera with me. But um, I will bring my camera with me later because we are going to a soccer match. I'm excited to figure out what I'm going to wear and then get spruced up. I'm happy I don't have to think about my hair. And I'm also happy that this hair is working pretty well. Like for the most part, it's not tangling very much. It is getting a little frizzy, but I kind of like that look. So by the time Miami happens, I feel like it's gonna be like perfect. I'm gonna feel like Pirates of the Caribbean or something, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna go work out. See y'all later. It's cute. I'm gonna stress again. I'm gonna put on some lip gloss, my little hardware necklace, normal jewelry, and let's go. Thank you. Starting here in the U.S., some of whom are here, so Mohab, Jose, and it's their passion and their commitment for our clients that I think makes us truly unique. As we are here to help you guys, <coughs> you can have that mental so that helps. So that helps, but you still need to get comfortable with with like the fact that. That was a lot of fun. Now to bed I go. Good night. Actually, I take a shower. Then go to sleep. See y'all next time. Good morning, beautiful people. Um, let's go to Target. Alright, y'all, so um I kinda want a coffee, but I kinda don't. Um I feel really good. Like energetically I feel really good. So 
we're gonna take care of some errands. I know I said we're going to Target and we are going to Target. But first, I gotta return this beauty supply hair because like I told y'all before, when I got my hair braided, um, they ended up with a pack that they didn't open. So I'm gonna go return that. And then, um, because if you don't open it and you have your receipt, you can return it within 10 days. At least that's what the receipt says. So I'm gonna get that money back. And then I'm going to buy a steamer because I saw on TikTok, and it's actually the DJ, uh, Keisha Nicole in 97 on the box. She actually got Bora Bora braids. I guess these are called Bora Bora braids. I don't really know. Um, and she um, used the, the braider at the salon, used a steamer to steam her hair instead of dipping it. Um, so I want to do that because I can feel the itchiness from the braids like because oop, because the braids are really harsh like the hair fibers are still really tough and I feel like the steam will soften them up so I'll put some conditioner on it and then I'm gonna get a steamer and then steam it that's number two I need some more body wash because I'm running low on that and I need to see if I need to buy like a container to put it in like a small container because I think I ran out of containers so I need to see how much that costs because I could probably go to Dollar Tree and pick that up like they have a little travel section there that I could just get some bottles and then go from there there's a lot of fucking traffic why is there so much traffic oh my god that's crazy um they literally closed off oh there buddy they literally closed off all of 610 I don't there's not like a marathon going on what the hell um what was I saying Oh yeah, I'm a little Dollar Tree and get like a little bottle because for the travels, I already got the pack of cubes. The pack of cubes are amazing. I was exploring through them uh, yesterday to see like what they actually look like because I had the time to actually unzip them and see what they look like. You get a large amount of bags and they're eight bags for like 19 bucks. So I'm like, say less, like that was a good deal. Um, so uh, I'm gonna show y'all that. I'm also gonna add it to my storefront. So if y'all want it, y'all can y'all can by all means take it if you if you want it um i got it in the cheapest color which was like the peachy blush color um because for some reason the, the different colors are a little bit more don't know what that's about but whatever <laughs> um and what else so i need bottles i need body wash i need a face scrubber i'm gonna see if i can find that at dollar tree too and i'm gonna return the hair i'm gonna go buy some bottles so body wash bottles face scrubber return the hair i haven't ate breakfast so somehow i'm just super energetic but honestly i was sleeping in i stayed in bed till like an hour ago so yeah um but what else then after that i'm gonna go work out get my workout in i feel like i've really been slimming down y'all like i don't mean to be that person but i really do feel like i'm getting like slim so not i'm not slim but i'm getting slimmer so that's a good feeling and then what else yeah i think that's it um hopefully we can get some sushi today because it's all day happy hour at a uh, our favorite sushi spot me and chris um could go there if he's up for it i don't know if he's gonna be up for it but if he is then that's great also the soccer game was so much fun yesterday i had a lot of fun i've never been in a suite <laughs> and when it's not on my dime it's even better <laughs> so yeah um we went um shout out to oranda oranda uh it's a forex company shout out to them for inviting chris and then shout out to chris for inviting me um because they really were very very courteous um they talked about things within foreign exchange trading and then we went straight to it like we had to, we were able to explore the suite we ate all the food um they had trill burgers there so of course i had to pick up one of those um and then they um they showed us around like they had the trophies from different championships like they had the heisman trophy for u of h they had the astros trophies there they had a couple of i think world cups there I don't know what they had there, but they had a lot of trophies there, and it was pretty cool, and then we were able to see the field, and we were so close, like, I could see the faces of the soccer players, I'm used to, like, when we're in a sporting event, you can't see the faces of the athlete that's playing, but 
I was able to see their faces and see them talk to their families. It was super cool. Um, the Dynamo did lose, which was kind of lame, but it, and it was funny because Oanda was actually cheering for the New York team, the New York Red Bulls, um, which was a soc their soccer team. So that was kind of funny. Um, but it was still a very good game. And yeah, that was really fun. So anyways, um, I'm going to head over here. I'm going to see where I can get a coffee too because I actually feel like coffee would like really boost things right on up. I don't want to go to Paris Baguette though. I feel like Paris, I've been going there a little too much and not to shade them, but their service hasn't been what I would expect it to be, you know? And every time I go, I feel like, I guess I went and it was a new place. Like it was still fresh and new. But now as I go, it's like, it's kind of like on the decline. Like there's just things about it that I'm just like, mm, this is putting bad taste in my mouth. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find another cool coffee shop. I could probably go back to Loose Roasters, Coffee Roasters, but I'm probably gonna find something near here to get something and then just go from there. So I guess I'll see y'all at the beauty supply when I return the hair because that's where I'm going now. And then from there, get some coffee and some body wash. Hopefully there's a Dollar Tree over there because I would really love to. Um, I know there's a Target over there too. So yeah, I probably could get everything done over there and then come back home, drop everything off, and then get ready for my workout. So if I find a coffee shop over there, then I'll be bet that would be even better. Like a Vietnamese coffee sounds really good right now. Anyways, I will talk to y'all later um, once I get to the beauty supply. So see y'all there. Okie dokie, hair has been returned. I just have to wait for that to get back to my account. It was only like $9.865. Um, so that'll be returned back to my account soon. I've been seeing a lot more brown people speaking Spanish. And I'm like, are y'all Dominican? Like, they look African. Like, I can't describe it. Like, anyways, they look they look like me. They look black, right? And they're speaking fluent Spanish. And I'm just like, this is so cool. But the way they speak it, it's like they're speaking it like it's their native language. And granted, I know about migration and I know about all that stuff. But I've never seen that in Houston. So I'm like, huh, because when I got my hair braided, there was a lady that was speaking Spanish and that was her native language too. And then the other women were speaking Creole. Um, so I was just like, that's really interesting. And I'm just wondering where, where they're from. Um, I don't know, that's just where my brain goes. But there is a Target going this way. So I think I'm gonna go to this Target and see if I can get some body wash to wash my body. And then get some stuff for the travels. I need to get a little face scrubber. The little rubber one that I use all the time at home. I need to get one of those. And then I need to, what else do I need to do? Um, oh, there's coffee up here. Maybe I can get a coffee from a Shibley's. A coffee and a donut, some donut holes. That sounds good. Some donut holes and some, sh yeah. I'm gonna get that on my way back though. Yeah, there's a Dollar Tree up here too, so I'm gonna hit up all the spots. I'm gonna go to Target, I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree, then I'm on my way back home. I'm gonna go hit up that Shipley's, get some donut holes and some coffee. Yeah, get a latte. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. Um, but yeah, the sun's out, and I want to have some coffee. I don't know why I want coffee so bad, but I guess Sunday and coffee just goes together for me personally. Um, but yeah, that was real quick and easy. I found shortcuts to get there. Now, I used to take West, West Time all the way up and it would take forever because all the lights. But I take I-10 and then I exit um, Derry Ashford and then go all the way up Derry Ashford to West Timer and it's so much quicker. So, yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh, that's what I need to do. I didn't go to Target get a steamer and body wash, not just the, not just the body wash. I have a little to do list in my phone that I keep track of everything too. So, yeah. Um. So I guess I'll see y'all at Target. All right. Bye. All right. 
got what I needed. And people on this part of town are way too rude for me. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if... No, people aren't rude. Let me, let me rephrase that. There's something in the air that's putting people in a shitty mood. I think that's what it is. Because people were honking at each other. And there's tons of road rage and stuff. Like a and... Yeah, it was just a lot. And then um, the face scrubber was way too expensive. I don't know why they have this tiny ass face scrubber for $7. I bought a pack of three for like $4 on Amazon. I should have did that. But I just wanted it now in that moment. So just like, let me go ahead and get it so I don't have to think about it anymore. But that's a little annoying. Um, but yeah, I got what I needed. I got the um, steamer. And just uh, now it's time to go home. So I'm not going to get a coffee, actually. Because I feel like a coffee at this point will upset my stomach. I haven't ate anything. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to drink some water. Go home. Go to the park because the sun is out. Get a workout in. And then come back home and eat um, my miso salmon bowls that I'll be making at home. I really like those. They're really tasty. So I'll make that and then we'll go from there. So I'm just gonna go back home, drop this shit off, put my hair up, and get ready for a workout. So, see y'all later. Alright, y'all. Workout is done. I'm gonna go home and shower and then make lunch slash dinner, I guess. And just chill for the rest of the day. So, if I don't see y'all after my shower, I will see y'all tomorrow. Hello again. Um, happy Monday. Time to get a workout in and then chill for the rest of the day. Today is a day that I'm taking for myself to relax today and tomorrow. So let's go work out, then chill. Whoa, accidentally hit record. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, y'all. The package is here. So I'm going to open it up and see what I got. And just a quick, like, add blurb um if you don't know what hello fresh is it's literally america's number one meal kit um and it's a reason for that it's literally delicious meals that are delivered to your door um and it doesn't sacrifice flavor there are chef inspired meals right at your door it's awesome because it's a great start to your health so you don't have to worry about eating out anymore because guess what you got some meals at your door and it's tons of variety and you get free breakfast for life when you sign up. Um, as always, I'm gonna have the information available. As always, I'm gonna have the information available if you ever wanna sign up. Um, yes, this is an ad. Yes, I do get commission from this. Um, and I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this because I really do appreciate it. And I do spend my own money to purchase HelloFresh meal kits. It's just now I'm in a partnership with them and I'm very grateful for it. So thank you again, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this. Um, so let's see what I got. I'm so excited. <clears throat> On the screen, I'm probably going to put like information about how to like order from HelloFresh and using the link to get the free breakfast for life and um, discount on your meals um, and all that good stuff. But let's see what I got. I'm so excited. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we got smoky barbecue sandwiches. That looks good. Looks tasty. Okay, okay, okay. We got, what's the next one? I don't know if the battery's about to die. We got Southwest shrimp tacos. And then we got Tex-Mex turkey and black bean flautas. So I'm very, very excited about that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make these meals. I don't know which meal we're gonna make tonight, but um, I'm gonna ask Chris and see which one he wants. Um, and we'll just go from there. But yeah, it's super cool. Like, look at this packaging, y'all. Like you can literally just, it's delivered to your door. No issues, right? From these veggies went from farm to you in under a week. I literally put in an order for this last week. And in this refrigerated pack, they have all the awesome things here in this bag. And you just grab it and put it in the fridge. 
and that's it. So, super cool. This is the black bean and turkey flautas. Yep. And then this one is the Southwest shrimp tacos. It's still cold, which is super cool. <clears throat> I wonder what they gave me for breakfast, y'all. This is the barbecue sandwiches. And then in here, they have all of the meats. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. Ooh, give me dessert this time. Chocolate lava cake. What else is in here? Uh, lemon cheesecake. Two lemon cheesecakes. A chocolate lava cake. Oops, sorry y'all, all in my grill. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. Got a lot of good stuff. Super excited about this. Um, the next thing I'll probably show y'all is us cooking. So you can see how delicious these meals look. And again, just check the description box for more information on how you can save money. And also to get free breakfast for life because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. We all know that. And yeah, so I will see y'all later and we'll go from there. Bye y'all. Hello, beautiful people. Um, just made the bed. Now I'm going to get up and get dressed go to the gym, get my workout in, uh, take a shower, and then go to my friend's house. Um, my friend Lara's having a get together today, so we're gonna go and hang out over there. And yeah, I also have to start packing. This nail is the bane of my existence. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Anytime it hits, it tries to bend off and hurt my actual nail bed. I'm scared to see what it looks like underneath here my nail tech's probably gonna be like what the fuck like what's going on um, but i swear i'm just when it gets too long i start to get clumsy like when my set gets too old i find myself doing things as an accident to hurt my nails and not intentionally it's just like somehow some way my nail pops off but anyways we're gonna go to the gym let me get dressed wash my face get washed up and then um, after that, we will get dressed to go to my friend's house. See you later. Wait, let me turn off the lights. Wow. Gotta conserve on our power. I can show y'all what I'm wearing, I guess. Oh, I gotta put on a moisturizer. Definitely not prepared to do that. Alright. I'm wearing my Renaissance. Tortilla. And my leftover lose the uh, Wonder Train, I think they're called. And yeah, let's go. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and go to my friend's house. Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do after that, but I wanna get there early so that way I can leave early just so I can have more time to myself because it's spring break and I'm free. <laughs> uh, so I'll see y'all later. I might take some clips from when I go hang out with my friends, but yeah that's what i'm doing right now so we might get into some vacation prep and get this nail taken care of on monday um so yeah and i also need to edit all of the footage that i have because i have months worth of footage now that i haven't done and yeah it's getting bad so see y'all later Somebody's on their slow. Damn it for letting them catch up. It's easy to see that you fit up. I am on a whole nother level. Really, only for Joe could let them. Fuck a girl, I guess you didn't know any. Girl, I'm happy and it's so any. Do all I can just to show you this special. Certain is your love that holds me together. Maybe you say you can kill it. Gotta be sick of this. Pull up, skirt, and put in the right. Left hand is clearing, the other is stripping your thigh. 
Light up a split and get high Shout at you, these type of Moving business Looking at you, I'm thinking they must be tripping Play this song for them, tell them just listen So this is why it's important to not edit while cooking because I burnt them a little bit, but it's okay. What's the verdict on the burnt tacos? Burnt flour does. With the crema, it really makes a difference. And the onions. I'm gonna put yours to the side. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Because I know that normally with pickled onions, mm -hmm. you have to pickle them for a little while. They that's why they actually come out like soft. That's why I pickled them first. Yeah. Wasn't the recipe? It made it where you had to pickle it after you cooked the turkey. Oh. Well, I pickled it first and then cooked the turkey. Mm -hmm. And then it says stir occasionally. Despite me burning the tortillas, though, it's still really good. No, it came out really good. Yeah. I feel like it was tasty. Not very good. And with the, the veggies and stuff, it's actually really good. I want some more crema. Hello, good afternoon. It is Monday. I was going to get my workout in before my nail appointment, but my nail appointment's in... 50 minutes, so I'm gonna work out after my nail appointment. So let's go. Workout done. Gonna go ahead and take a shower, and then I guess we're gonna make another Hello Fresh meal tonight. We're gonna make our shrimp tacos. I'm super excited about it. Um, yeah, so let me take my shower because I'm stink, and we'll go from there. I think that's great because. Again, it's just another gesture that makes it more real. Yeah, exactly. Because it is real, you know? Ooh. 
The zest is for garnish, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Lemon zest, lime zest. Lime zest. You can taste everything. Mm -hmm. Tomato. The onion, the poblano pepper. The lime. You can taste it all. It's really good. Hey y'all. All right. Um, happy Tuesday. Um, I don't think I showed y'all my nails they're basic pink <laughs> um and my feet are french shellac um they did a really good job so i'm really happy about it i am going to um that you call it i'm going to marshall's home goods and i'm going to nordstrom rack to see if i can find some pilates socks because i really don't want to be working out at solid core today and not have pilates socks because i don't want my bare feet touching yeah anyways um so that's the next thing for me I'm gonna take y'all with me to look for some Pilates socks. And I see some barking opening up, so shout out to that. All right, see y'all in the store. All right, that was a fail. They don't have any, so I'm gonna go into Marshalls and see if they have anything, and if not, I'm gonna go into DSW. Okay, so at first I was really nervous that I wasn't going to find what I was looking for, but happened to find exactly what I was looking for, so ended up working out very well, which I'm very happy about. Um, let me show y'all what I got. Alright, so I went, I'm a little, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if just, maybe it's me, maybe I'm the problem, because every time I leave these stores, these people be in these pissy ass moods, and it be pissing me off. But anyways, let me stop. Um, I got some luggage tags, which I thought was super cute. Um, this was only like five bucks. I got Chris a luggage tag too, because he likes Marvel and stuff like that. And then I got my grippy socks, which y'all saw. It's a pack of three for ten bucks, so I'm going to put on the purple ones, because, yeah. Um, so, happy I got what I needed. <laughs> Now I'm going to go back home, see if I can drink anything or take like some food or some juice or something and I just go from there and then just chill until it's time to do Pilates. So see y'all at home. All right, let's get ready for Pilates. So I just came back home, I need a bathroom, so I got that taken care of. And then I never got a chance to show y'all what I'm wearing. So you can think of this as like 50 shades of blue or something. <laughs> nah, but seriously, um, where am I? Old blue. I bought a while ago um, wearing one part of my outfit no one part of my snood set and then this is a Zara shirt and then I'm wearing my blue New Balance sneakers and my grippy socks are purple so it can still kind of follow that jewel tone vibe and yeah let's go all right let's go to solid core here we go on your handlebars when the saw changes lines are going down the music's going up Song is changing it. All right, we're all done. Focus, focus, focus. And I wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm actually, actually did okay. But I was taking way more breaks this time around. Like I don't know what it was when I went by myself the first time. It was way different. But it wasn't that bad. So I got a matcha from La La Land, and now we're heading home. So see y'all at home. All right, y'all. We are at Baybrook Mall took me an hour to get here I love that for me um let me set y'all up so I can figure out where I'm gonna park um so 
we are looking for parking I found out the entrance so I can be as close as possible to the entrance I just need to find a spot that is close to it but yeah um, we're here I'm just wearing this shirt from Amazon some of my Levi jeans and this lip oil from rare beauty I don't know if I like it or not I like the tint the color payoff but I don't like the moisturizing like matter of it all it feels like I'm just putting colored water on my lips if that makes any sense are you leaving love yes okay dang okay son six o'clock and the sun is doing this I'm not mad at it I really had to reverse this way all right lady I believe in you. Like, don't piss me off. Alright, cool. I'm gonna park here. Because this spot is available and close. I'm gonna put on some more lippy oil. And see what I can find. This lady is in my way. Alright, let's focus. But, um, yeah, I will see y'all when I are on my way back home, I guess. Not too sure how I want to do this, but it is what it is. Alright, um, gonna put some more lip, like, here's what I mean. I had some on earlier, and this is how it dries. And it's called lip oil. It's just not very moisturizing. It literally feels like water. And not in a moisturizing kind of way. See? It's cute. But when it dries, it'll probably dry in the next... Like, y'all know, my skin is always dry. It'll probably dry in the next 10 seconds or so. And I'll just be here with colored lips, which is great. But I want some moisture too, you know? Whereas the Summer Fridays is a little bit different. You get a little bit more color payoff. Not color payoff, I'm talking about. You get a little bit more moisture. Alright. I'm gonna get spruced up since I'm here a little early. And then I guess I will take out my phone yeah I'll take out my phone and we'll go from there so see y'all when will I see y'all I guess I'll see y'all at the restaurant so yeah I always forget to vlog when I'm there but that was a great time I had so much fun all right see y'all at home I thought I would have it in me to pack but I don't <laughs> so I'm probably gonna pack tomorrow <laughs> so I'll see y'all tomorrow but before I let y'all go, that was everything I needed. I love hanging out with friends and just catching up. It's always such a great time to just be able to talk and really just catch up, you know? So it was a great time. Enjoyed myself very much. Um, gonna take a shower and journal, chill for the rest of the night. So yeah, the next time I pick this camera up will be tomorrow. So good night. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.